Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Bolt the Bear, and today we don't have a build request. We have more of somebody asking if they could see a stealth xenomorph gameplay, like a stealthy xenomorph, and I wanted to do that anyway, so here we are. But before we get into it, make sure to slap a like on the video, sub if you want to. It helps me, and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of, and we're almost to my goal of 1k by the end of the year. I think at this point we are 75 subs away. I cannot appreciate it more. You guys are awesome, and I can't believe how close we are to getting it. But let's get into what this build is. We have Unforeseen. When you perform the break action on a generator, your terror radius transfers to the generator for 30 seconds, and its radius is set to 32 meters. You gain undetectable for that duration. Then this perk goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. And then we have Pop Goes the Weasel. After hooking a survivor, the next generator you damage instantly loses 20% of its progress. Normal generator action, uh, sorry, normal generator regression applies after the damage generator action. Pop Goes the Weasel is active for 45 seconds after the survivor is hooked. Then we have Brutal Strength. Destroyed drop pallets, breakable walls, and generators 20% faster. And for the final perk, we have Dark Devotion. You become obsessed with one survivor. When the obsession loses a health state, your terror radius transfers to the obsession for 30 seconds and its radius is set to 32 meters. You are granted the undetectable status effect for the duration. The survivor with the transfer terror radius is also considered to be inside the terror radius for uh, other purposes. And our add-ons are going to be Ripley's Watch. When a turret removes crawler mode, it is destroyed automatically. And Cat Carrier, exiting crawler mode due to a turret attack, makes you undetectable for 30 seconds. These two are like the perfect pairing, in my opinion. Um, overall, I brought a slightly gen kick... Um, build with unforeseen and dark devotion will kind of do its own work and i'm hoping cat carrier and ripley's watch can fit in there somewhere they usually do whenever i use them but hopefully you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the match all right so we got mount ormond let's go we got brutal strength dark devotion pop goes the weasel and unforeseen let's get into it yeah so I've been talking with, like, some of you guys in the comments of the videos and stuff have been noticing it as well. That we either get, like, some solid teams, or we get, like, people that just give up instant, right? That was actually a good first hit. We blocked that pallet and everything. Um, I've been noticing it too. It's just, like, it's crazy. We either get, like, these super good teams. We get this over here. Just the tip make sure nobody's there and pick up and we'll throw them on the hook on the hill and we'll call it a day not really that's one out of 12 uh one out of 11 hook. one out of 12 hooks sorry jesus but by the time i'm recording this um dracula is probably out by the time i'm uploading it i should say break this get this out of the way uh currently i'm just gonna kind of take a look around i oh he's giving up see what i'm talking about dude you can see there somebody gives up or the teams are just super well coordinated or really good and it makes the matches super hard so you can't run fun builds like these but like i'm gonna i'm gonna apply unforeseen to this and see what i can do i'll probably just take chases at this point and see what we can do if we can make it a longer match i'll make it a longer match that way you guys get some about to see some value out of it what's up ace okay we're undetectable right now i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap around the building see if we can't catch him off guard yeah we got him let's go unforeseen value baby all right yeah we'll put him in basement it's just, it's sad to see, man. I'm excited for Dracula. Hopefully we see a surge of players during Dracula. Because, uh, well, sorry, not Dracula. During Castlevania. Because what happened before, I noticed it. We had a huge spike in players because of the anniversary event and, um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons coming into DVD. But then, I have, I've seen, like, maybe one or two Vecnas in the past, like, couple weeks. And that and like nothing else all right we saw zarina there can we get a hit yes we can she now has dark devotion on her i'm gonna apply unforeseen to this generator after my eyes are blinded out of my head okay and we're also gonna have no terror radius because of the cat carrier as well 
So Cat Carrier and Ripley's Watch breaking that turret instantly. We're going to wrap around here. I hear them healing, I believe. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, my. See, I don't agree with that, man. If I'm on the up opposite side of the pallet, why do they still get the prop? The, the prop to uh, drop it, you know? I think that's annoying. It's the same way. I guess it's the same complaint as when survivors get hit over pallets, you know? Like, their feet are planted on the opposite side. So I kind of get it. Alright, she used her med kit, so we should get a hit here. And we will kick this again. Oh, never mind. We won't kick it again. Alright, just keeping an eye out for people, you know? Ooh, okay. Damn. Like, see, she pro uh, in my opinion, she, she, she was on the other side. I didn't think I was going to get that hit, actually. Um, she probably should have made that. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird. It's unfortunate, though, that uh, I, like, it takes, me, it takes me some time to export these videos. So, like, I would love to give you guys a Xenomorph uh, Dracula video on the day of Dracula. But that's just not realistic in terms of me being able to record and export that as fast as possible. Especially when I do stream the night that uh, Dracula is coming out. And if you guys want to, make sure to check it out. Twitch.tv slash the bolt to bear. No spaces. She's also letting herself die on hook, so. What the heck, man? What the heck? What happened to playing matches out, man? Okay, so she's gotta be hanging out here. Yeah, she's here. That's alright. That's alright. We get that hit there. And we should get it here. Very nice, very nice. Pick her up. Pick her up, throw her on hook. So if you guys have any, in this video, when this video is uploaded, if you guys have any builds for Dracula that you want to see, um, because by the time this comes out, he'll, he'll have been out for a few hours. So you guys, if you guys have got any creative builds that you want to see, I'm probably going to be playing Dracula most of the night. Either that or I'm, I'm actually going to be playing some Swift with some friends too. So we, we shall see. Just let me know in the comments, dude. I really appreciate when you guys interact with the videos like that. It lets me know like what I what I need to be doing. And matches like this are all right too. Sometimes it just gets annoying when people just quit out. It get, but this gives me time to like, I lost her. This gives me time to like chat with you guys, let you guys know what's up, what's gonna happen. Because I really do appreciate all you guys. But. Let's get some Xenomorph action if we can. I can't find anyone though, man. I Oh, there's only two left. I, I forgot that the person let themselves die on hook. Alright, break that. You know what? It probably would have been nice to uh, sneak around. Oh, I see Ace. Ace just definitely wants to hug this building as best as possible, which is completely fine. I'm not opposed to it. Is he going to take the window? Oh, no, he's not. Now he is. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Nice dead hard. <laughs> nice dead hard, man. I, I got to give you that one. Little, little shot through the, uh, through the crack. You love to see it. Nope, I'm not turning towards it. We turn away from explosions. We don't look at explosions. What do you think this is? Alright. I'm just kind of checking if she's stuck around here. I don't think she did. We'll break this. Like I said, we're really just prolonging this match. It was done a while ago. Like, it just sucks. Jeff being a little baby about that. It's like, come on, man. Not in there. It's like, really, dude? I understand the second person quitting, you know? People are frustrated. Not, not Nobody wants to stay in the match. When it's a, uh, when it's 3v... What's going on in here? What are you doing? No. Not giving you the blind, Nancy. Not giving you the blind. 
She got pretty far. Did she, was that live? All right, let's see what she's got. Let's see what she's got. Oh, almost, dude. Almost. Where are you at? All right, can I, I wonder if I can hit this. Oh my God, I can. <laughs> that was disgusting. All right, what's up, Ace? You think I'm just gonna chase you with her? <laughs> um, if you're wondering why I'm backing up, I back up to see if, uh, oh, I saw him. I back up to see if uh, he's like trying to rush around me to get the save. Cause you know how a lot of people turn around, they get saved. All right, what do we got here? What are we doing here, Ace? What you got for me? I'm going through here. All right, I'll fake that. Ooh, nice, dude, nice. Can you stay here? Where are you going? Oh, you left the loop, bud. You left the loop, man. You gonna throw a mean dead heart at me? <laughs> It's like I slapped his dead heart away, dude. No dead heart. We'll throw him on the hook and call it a GG's. I'll probably still include this one. Like I said, I want to keep you guys... In, like, I want to show you guys the matches in order and stuff from now on. You said you don't mind seeing the build not work. But GG's. All right, just a quick heads up. We are switching one of the perks. We're taking Dark Devotion out, and we are throwing in Nowhere to Hide. And if you guys don't know what nowhere, nowhere to Hide is, it's whenever you damage Generator, reveal the aura of all survivors standing within 24 meters of your position for 5 seconds. Just thought it might actually be good to include that, because we're kind of venturing into Gen Kick territory over Stealthy, but I do think Unforeseen and Cat Carrier alone can carry the uh, Stealth Factor. And we we seen it in the first match. Uh, somebody, somebody may have quit, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to start doing this for you guys. I'm going to like just maybe do like four matches and kind of pull together what I think, even if it works or not. Just so you guys know, I want to start doing that more often. So you saw the first one. Let's get into the second match. I'll see you there. All right, we're at the Disturbed Ward. They brought me here. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. I've seen these names a lot lately, like with the heart symbols and stuff, and I'm... Like, are these good, like, are, these are typically the players that are pretty decent at the game. I don't know why that stigma exists. I heard somebody breathing, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know what it is. And we added nowhere to hide into the build, so hopefully that gets some value. I saw you over here, Jill. You get to hit there, we'll probably... Nice, she dropped the pallet. We love that. I love getting rid of pallets for free, dude. For free. Let's see if we can't put this chase down pretty quick. Oh, I got caught on the locker. Um, where did she go? Don't tell me she cross mapped it. She did. She she legged it, dude. She fucking legged it, man. That sucks. That's not even, this ain't even the right gen. Damn it. <laughs> All right, we'll head back to this one over here. That Lara did get healed up, so they did spend some time healing, but I don't think it's anything significant. Um, She's back. We get to hit there. We'll wrap around. Break that. Oh, all right. I don't want to shoot him yet. Okay, we do get the hit there. That's great. And how do I want to play this? How? Ooh, he dodged at the last second. Okay, he's dropping the pallet. We play the pallet. One of these days, I'm going to do an M2 only uh, run for you guys, like a challenge. And, uh... Wow, I fully expected that to hit. Is he going to take it? Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate. This is a really bad loop against Xenomorph. If I hadn't missed twice, um, he would have been down much sooner because this is just a horrible loop. This is probably the only safe spot. That spot that he dodged the uh, tail strike. The other, the, the, the whole entire other uh, area is not safe. So it did take us a decent amount of time to get our first down, but we also have 
three people injured, and she's running back into Shaq, so we'll get some nowhere to hide value here. Ooh, two gens done, not good. Oh, she's making a run for it. She's making a run for it. You can't make a run for it. Ooh, she's going this way. Yeah, but she can't, she can't hear me right now because of the um, unforeseen. And we get a tail strike here. These guys just run in a straight line. I kind of like it. I think Quentin was the only one that actually tried to dodge. Which, uh, cool. I'll take it. Now, we need to go back because we are, we are under, like, we, we, gotta, we gotta put some pressure on them. We got to put some pressure on them. Ooh, okay. You know, I thought she was going to dodge, but she didn't. So we'll just break this. Get this out of the way. Make this, try to make this area as safe, uh, unsafe as possible. She is going for the save, though, which is all right by me. I should be able to get this hit. Yeah. Oh, I should be able to get this hit, and we should be able to get this down. Very nice. Very nice. I don't think there's anybody here. I think the Lara ran away. At least I thought she did. And basement's here. Lovely, dude. Lovely. Throw her down in basement. And bitch hook you get. Okay. So, now the plan is we gotta find some more people. Duh. They are healing up, which is good for us. Um, they're not over here, but hold on, let me kick this. Um, nothing, 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 nothing. That means we head back to see if they're rotating because we have undetectable. And if they're rotating in for the save, that's good for us. Bad for them. Hello, Jill. This is actually a trade now. Oh, well. It hit Lara instead of uh, Jill, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's four hooks. Nice. So we, we've officially hooked everybody, right? We've hooked everybody. We need to get out of here, and we need to go kick a gen again. we got to get our pop value, you know. Make use of our perks. Make sure everything's running smoothly. You guys just love touching this one, don't you? Alright, so we have undetectable. What's he do? I'm gonna wrap around. It's unfortunate that they can see straight through that. Uh, they can see straight through the shack. It's unfortunate. We're gonna head back over. He's obviously leading us away. So maybe we can catch somebody out. Yeah, we got somebody coming down here. Let's go. All right. And we'll make her mend. And then we'll head this way. Oh, they're both together. That's, let's go. Uh, we're definitely going to go for Lara, though. We're not going to tunnel uh, Jill. There's no reason to. No reason to tunnel Jill. We're not in the hole yet or anything, you know? We get this hit. And I'm going to chase him off this gen. Can you get off my gen? You got to drop this pallet, make this an unsafe zone. You are. Love to see it, dude. Love to see it. That's kind of what you got to do. If they're messing around and they, they feel completely safe, Chase them. Slug for a second. Chase them off. Get it. Get some pressure, dude. Get rid of some of their resources. It's all good. We got Pop here, so we're going to kick that gen again. Going to really piss this guy off, because uh, we're just going to keep kicking the gen as many times as he wants it. And he's injured, too, so maybe we can catch him. My big ass head, dude. <laughs> there ain't no hiding there. My big ass head, bro. I hear him. He took the window. 
Oh, he wasn't looking, dude. He wasn't. Lo well, he was looking, but he wasn't at the same time. He ran right into me. Right into me, dude. Right into my loving xenomorph, xenomorph arms. And boop. All right, somebody's already there for the save. This Jill is not injured, so... Okay, she's not making any... Yeah, it's off the record. If we wanted to, we could tunnel, but she is off the record, so I'm assuming she, uh... uh she has decisive, so we probably shouldn't... Shouldn't go for her, and he's he definitely wants chased. It sucks, man. Those are the people that you gotta watch out for, dude. If you don't want to get caught with the tunnel me, tunnel me uh, players. They just make everything worse. I can't, I can't. That's one of the things I can't stand is when like DS and off the record are used offensively. I mean, I get why because off the record you literally can't do anything. Like you need to like be in their face saying, "Hey, look at me, look at me, hit me," because if you don't, you're not gonna be getting uh the value out of it. Fake that. Come in. Oh, that was a nice dead hard, dude. That was a nice dead hard. I need to just start waiting, dude. I need to just start waiting. Put my put their head in my chest. Let it happen. Oh, we had him, dude. We had him. And he's dead. So like, you're done, bud. You're out of the game. We'll pick you up, throw you up on hook. Oh, they only have one gen left too. I wonder how long I can keep this up. We'll kick that. She's there. We get the hit there. She fell off. <laughs> she... Uh, the paperwork got in the way, man. That was an ambitious strike anyway. I just want to make sure these gens aren't being pumped out. Nah. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're golden. We're golden. All right, she's injured, so we should be able to... We'll fake this. And we get the down, dude. We get the down. Break this pallet. Pick her up and throw her up on the hook, dude. And boop, boop. Oh, we see her up there. And just follow her a little bit. And she draw. <laughs> she has no idea, dude. She has no idea. She's like, what? <laughs> She's like, where is he at? Help me. Pick her up. And we'll throw her up on the hook, dude. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We're playing super slow. Are they still over here? I didn't hear them working on the gen, so I really don't know. They gotta be healing somewhere around here, right? I wonder if they just healed in that corner, or did they go over here? I don't know, man. I don't know. They're all on death hook, though. Alright, so they did heal up. Which means I gotta make my way back over here. And find where these guys are. I'm gonna break this. Might as well make this place as unsafe as possible. Um Yeah, I really don't know. I might cut back through main. Yeah, they did manage to get the save. That's unfortunate. Yo, what is up? We get that hit there, which is beautiful. She was running all the way to that corner of the map, which is completely fine. There's nothing over there. Uh, go heal. Do do the healing shit if you want. Alright. What do we got over here, Lara? 
What do you got? You don't have this pallet anymore. You broke it. You broke it. She's gonna play me on the this this. Ooh, if the stagger didn't hit me, we could have got that. Fake that, fake that, fake that. She didn't fall for it. She's she's a knower, dude. She's a knower. She's so fast, bro. So fast, man. She's still here. I don't think you make anything, right? Uh, whoa. Honestly, I don't know about that one, bud. Uh, behavior, you're, you're looking out for me this match, but I don't know about that one. That seemed like it was going to hit the stone. <laughs> it looked like I shoved my arm out the window to get that hit. That's wild. That's wild, man. Uh, if we get one more person, we can call it GG's, dude. We can call it GG's. This is a fun little stealth build we had. You know where I'm guessing they are? I thought I saw somebody over here. Like, run from that generator over here. But uh, I didn't. Or I did, but I don't know where they went. Um, we're going to check this gen while we're in stealth. And maybe we get somebody lacking? Maybe? Do we? Oh my god, Jill, what is up? Just who I wanted to see. Thank you so much. G, Jeez, dude. That was a good match. It was a long match, but good match. GG's. All right, guys, and with that, we finish up the stealthy slash gen kick Xenomorph. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, we're just going to start taking these raw matches. I might break them up a little bit for the downtime, but as far as, as this, these are the first two matches I had, I figured they were good. Uh, they did venture into the longer territory. That first one probably shouldn't have been as long, but, you know, second chances and stuff it, it is what it is i have second chances as well um hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to slap a like on the video sub if you want to let me know in the comments if you want to see any other types of builds uh even if it's not specific specifying perks let me know what kind of build you guys like to see see what i can do build around the idea of it but make sure to slap a like on the video sub if you want to it helps me and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of and we are almost to my goal of 1k by the end of the year i appreciate you all Make sure to stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your days, nights, and what time it is for you. I will see you in the next one. Peace.